All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So I don't know about you guys, but I have been waiting anxiously for the easy A details for Fizz, Khalifla, and AGL Kale all week. Hold on, switch those. Uh, Fizz, Kale, and AGL Khalifla all week, and now they're officially out in the open, and all I can say is it was worth the wait, guys. It was definitely worth the wait, because these girls do not disappoint. Both of them are absolutely amazing, two of the better easy A's we have seen in a while, and uh, I'm excited to share these details with you. Now, before we get into it, a big shout out to the homie Goresh on Twitter, of course, for his timely translations as always. We really appreciate it. So starting here with the Khalifla, her new leader skill is all types key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 80%. So very solid rainbow leader skill, nothing crazy, but definitely usable. And her passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 60%, high chance to evade enemy attacks, and medium chance to evade enemy attacks and counter with tremendous power. Now he does want to specify that uh, she still only can counter super attacks, just like before, and not normal attacks. Alright, now, in addition to that, she gets attacks effective against all types if a character whose name includes Kale is attacking in the same turn. And I'm pretty sure this includes the base form Kale as well. So, that's crazy, man. If you run her with a Kale, which in most cases you will, because they're pretty much each other's best linking partners, right? Then she gets attacks effective against all types that is huge and then also super attack supreme damage and raises the defense by 60 percent for three turns which is a massive defense boost after a couple supers she will be quite tanky so uh there's nothing really bad i can say about this khalifla i mean i guess the only thing is that her attacks effective against all types is contingent on having a kale but you're almost always going to be running her with a kale so it's not really an issue. Uh, she's amazing. She's amazing. All right, next up, Kale. And I think she might be even better. I mean, I'm still trying to decide because these, these details literally just dropped and I haven't had too much time to process it. Um, I think Kale might be even better though. Okay, so leader skill, Fizz types keep plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Passive is 160% attack, performs an additional super attack with a great chance to become a super attack reduces damage received by 60%, 60% for six turns from first appearance, and then uh, reduce damage received by 60% when collecting six or more Fizz Key Spheres after seven turns have elapsed from the start of battle, and the super attack immense damage and greatly lowers defense. So not only is she getting 160% attack, she's also getting 60% damage reduction for the first six turns. And then after that, she can still get this damage reduction, but it's gonna be a lot harder. Obviously getting six or more key spheres, specifically Fizz key spheres, is uh, kind of difficult unless you're running her with a orb changer, which you obviously can. Um, that's gonna be kind of hard to get, but for the first six turns, she's gonna be quite tanky too. Uh, not the most tanky because as you can see, she still doesn't have any defense, right? So she's going to be taking a lot of damage. You reduce that by 60%. It's going to be massively reduced, but she's still not going to be like the best tank, at least from what I can tell. We'll see, I guess, when we actually get to the gameplay. But uh, this helps her a ton because she had she had no defense before, like zero defense before. So getting 60% damage reduction is a huge boost. 160% attack in addition to the possibility of double or triple supers, right? Because she does get five level five uh, additional in her hidden potential system too. So even a 55% kill will now have the potential to super up to three times per turn. She's gonna be putting up like. Comparable to a lot of Dokkan Fest exclusive numbers as far as damage goes. And then, you know, she'll be able to hold her own somewhat defensively too. Um, what else can I say? Immense damage, of course. Multiplier. That's also huge. Uh, yeah, man. They're both amazing. I'm not really sure which one's better. I want both of them immediately. Unfortunately, as someone who, you know, mains the global side. We're not going to see this for a little while, but that's okay. Something to look forward to very excited and uh, JP players enjoy because 
they're dope, man. They're they're amazing. They really really did a good job. I think somebody at Bandai really likes Kaelin Khalifla, uh, given the recent you know releases we've had, and uh, that's it. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. I'm curious to hear uh, which one you guys think is better. Do you think Khalifla is better? Do you think Kale is better with the additionals, with the huge attack boost, or is Khalifla better with the uh, you know dodges, the counter, and also what else? The uh, tax effective against all types, right? So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I'll have to see an actual showcase to decide like for certain. But I, my gut instinct tells me that Kale is better but i'm not a hundred percent sure all right anyways that is the video shout out to goresh again and uh as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and um if, if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.